last 25 years, in some ways, has been the first internet revolution, just getting people to understand why it's important, getting them connected. Now we're connected pretty ubiquitously across multiple devices, and, and including mobile uh, devices. So that, you know, we've, we've, we've come a long way from the days when only 3% of people were, were, were connected for an hour a week, as I said. The, the next 25 years, the second internet revolution, if you will, it's not going to be so much just creating more internet companies, although there's still going to be opportunities there, but using the internet to improve the way we live our lives in pretty fundamental ways. How we learn, how we stay healthy, how we get around, how we eat, things like that. Uh, and, and those industries are huge. You know, the healthcare, education, uh, government services, energy services, transportation services, things like that represent more than half of the economy and haven't really changed that much based on that, the first internet revolution. Some things like media have changed a lot, but some of these other sectors haven't changed much. They will in the next 25 years. So that's a, a focus. And in, in fact, there's going to be more of a, a need for these entrepreneurs and these investors to recognize, again, whether you like it or not, that there is a role for DC in these industries. Washington is the principal regulator of healthcare and education, but it's also the principal customer. More, government spends more money in healthcare and education by far than anybody else. So of course, if you want to revolutionize these industries, you want to disrupt these industries, you're going to have to figure out some way to link your ambitions with what's, where, where the money is, which, is, which, is, which in, in large part is with government buying these services or subsidizing these services. Uh -huh.